Hello everyone, Sistiana here. We're going to do the week ahead tarot reading. Remember, this is a very general reading for all signs, Aries through Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week ahead of March 8th through 14th. So um, if you don't know your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, I do have a video link in the description that would help you to find those signs. It's a very easy process and it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, I just, I like y'all to have an idea of why I suggest you, uh, you see those videos, those readings. So without any more rambling, thank y'all so much. And timestamps are in the description for each sign, starting with Aries. Message for Aries for the week ahead. King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. The Sun. Eight of Wands. And the Two of Wands. Underlying energy is the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> okay, so we have Water energy and Leo energy um, could have any of that in your chart if the water is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with someone with those energies. Now I do see there could be some emotional communication coming through. Very happy energy in your home. Very loving. Um, it's like just very calm and content type of energy. You do have abundance and everything is really truly looking up for you is what I'm feeling here. Things are clearing up for you to get where you're wanting to be at. And there is some type of decision here that I'm seeing that you're needing to make. I do feel like it has something to do with this new this new beginning that's coming in for you. And it's like you could be just needing to talk it out. Just try to like keep an open mind as well, I see here. So let's clarify this reading for Aries, please. <clears throat> Justice. Ten of Swords, Queen of Rods, King of Rods, Page of Pentacles, Underlying Energy, Seven of Rods. Okay, so happy home life and you really having that structure, having a, a very solid foundation is what I'm seeing here. Now you could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart or Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a young or immature Earth sign as well. Your energy is coming in strong with the two, uh, the Queen and the King of Rods, that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, I do see there is an ending, but I do feel like this is that transformation type of energy that I was feeling. It's like you have a, a new beginning that's coming in, and it's like I feel like you're having to, I feel like that's what this communication is about, needing to make some changes, and it could be to do with money or a job as well. I do see having more focus as well here, really truly focusing on what you truly want, not allowing any negativity to come into your way anymore. It's like I feel like you're really having um, a change for the better here, Aries. <clears throat> and really, really finding your way. It's like the, the focus is really coming, like really, really in focus on you and what you truly want out of your life. It's like kind of having an awaken, a, awakening of sorts here. So, wow. Um, everything's, I feel like everything's going to be really good though. I hope that message helps you though, Aries. I hope that makes sense. Make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus as well. And thank you for watching. Taurus. Message for Taurus for the week ahead, please. Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Nine of Swords. 
and justice. Underlying energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Been putting in a lot of energy into something, working on something, um, maybe really just thinking about it a lot as well. I just, I feel like you're, you're kind of like, could be really stuck in your head, really not having a, a tremendous amount of focus. Um, and I do feel like that towards the end of the week and into the weekend that that's kind of going to have a shift for you. But it all depends on how you handle. You've got some chaos happening. You've got some just like things happening really quickly with a, a change. I, I feel like it's to do with a change. And for some of you, Taurus, it's like it's stressing you out. It's really stressing you out. Um, trying to figure things out, that type of thing. It's like you're not sure what to do, how to do it, where to go at next, that type of thing. Um, now, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. I just feel like there is more of the the need for balance and need for focus. And it, it's like, where have you been putting your energy at? Where have you been putting your thoughts at? Because I feel like there needs to be a change. So let's clarify this reading for Taurus, please. Three of Wands. Six of Cups. Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Underlying Energy, the Knights of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like this is a, um, a situation that's kind of been ongoing. You've been really, really dealing with this a lot, and um, it, it's been difficult. It's been a rough ride. Uh, I feel like this has been very, very intense for you. Now, your energy is coming in strong with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There's also communication about money that uh, that could be what the stress is all about. It's like, I feel like there is kind of, um, it could be a bit of bickering. It's like not really understanding the other person or the other person not understanding you when it comes to the finances. It's like clear communication is needed. Now, there could be a situation with children coming in as well. There is, it's like... For some of you, Taurus, you feel like there was a rush to make a decision about something. Um, and children could be causing a chaotic feeling here. Also, just know that there could be something that is like you you feel like you're running away from the past. Um, but for some of you, it, it's more like you're, you're running, you're running, 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 really running here, running away from something, disconnecting, and you have a wish being come, a wish being fulfilled. It's like you have so much going on here, Taurus. It's like I feel like there's a need. There is a really strong need for you to focus more. You're needing balance. You're needing to find your purpose. So it's like I, I feel like for some of you, Finding your purpose and whatever this decision was that is kind of rushed is like, don't worry so much about this and focus on what you can do now. Like, I, I did, it's like, I get this, whatever this decision is about, whatever this was rushed about, just know that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I, I feel like there, there just needs to be more clear communication when it comes to your money and your goals, your your values. It's going to take work. It's going to take work here, Taurus. So don't stress about it so much. Take your time and work it through. I don't know who, who, if that makes sense for you, and I hope it does. But um, make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus as well. And thank you for watching. Hey, Gemini. Message for Gemini for the week ahead, please. The lovers. King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Two of Cups. Oops. 
We have the Two of Wands with the Six of Wands. Okay. Underlying energy is the King of Swords. Your energy is coming in strong. We have the Air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Your energy coming in with the Lovers. We also have Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Though Gemini. Um, who's getting into a new relationship? Like, I, I see there being... A relationship situation going on here. A soulmate. It's a, a deep connection. If it's not romantic, it is like you're you're meeting your best friend that you've it's like you're meeting someone and you just got that instant connection with them. Um now it could be a pet too. I mean, are you getting a new pet, Gemini? I I just feel like there's something new coming in here. Now I do see also that you're having to make some type of decision. Walking away from something or someone. Now this could be to do with money. Or with an earth sign. That's towards Virgo Capricorn. You could have earth in your chart. Um, let's clarify this reading for Gemini please. Four of rods. The devil. Ten of Swords, Ten of Rods, and the Seven of Swords. The star for the underlying energy. So we have Aquarius energy and Capricorn energy is coming out now. Now we do have a yes answer for anything that is not spoken of. Blessings coming in from the universe. Know that everything happens for a reason. There is an ending, a strong ending coming in here for you as well. Now for some of you, it's like, hold your truth. <laughs> um, like, hold back on saying something, Gemini. I, I do say there being a, a change in a relationship status. I do feel for some of you, if you're single, it's like meeting your soulmate, meeting your, your person that you're meant to be with. Now, others of you do be aware that you're... It, this is one way of looking at this, Gemini, and please don't take this as being, this is, you know, dead set, but be careful that someone could be lying. There could be some manipulation that there's going to be an ending here. Like, maybe you're, they're going to finally get caught, or are you going to get caught, Gemini? I mean, it, it can go either way here, but I feel like there's a bit of a toxic situation going on here with an ending to a relationship. It's like you, you, you have this, for some of you, it's a marriage. It's a marriage that could be falling apart. And it's a very deep connection with this other person. And it's it's ending. But it's an ending that's meant to happen for you to have a victory in your life. It's like you're meant to go in this direction. As I said, I, I, I strongly feel, and I strongly believe in the whole, everything happens for a reason. It's like when one door closes, another, another one opens. So whatever this ending is for you, Gemini, it's meant to happen. It's a blessing in disguise kind of thing. Okay? Yes, it, it can. It, it's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. But you will get through it. Um, And it's like, I feel like, the, the lies, the manipulation, the toxicity that is involved here, Gemini, is going to finally unfold. It's finally going to just be laid out. And remember, this is a general reading, y'all. So if it doesn't make sense, you know, leave it for the rest. And watch, make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus as well. But um, I do see there being an ending coming in. Maybe this is an ending with just a, a friendship that it was a, a soulmate connection, but you've learned what you needed to learn from this person, and now it's time to move on. And you will, you will move on. You will have victory. This will come turn out in your favor. Okay, whatever the decision, whatever you decide to do, it will be in your best interest because you know what's best for you, right? Okay, Gemini, I hope that all makes sense for you. I hope that message helps. Again, make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching.
cancer. <clears throat> Message for Cancer for the week ahead, please. Three of Cups. Eight of Swords. Magician. Five of Wands. Four of Wands. Okay. Underlying energy is the King of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign, or you could have air in your chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I see there being communication, though. <clears throat> now, for some of you, it's dealing with a third-party situation um, that you kind of feeling stuck with, feeling trapped. And just know that you, you will succeed. You have what you need to succeed. I feel like this is going to be temporary. This is going to be very short-lived. You don't have to stress so much about it because I do feel like it's like this this person trying to stick their nose. Yeah, they're going to learn that they can't tell you what to do. Like I feel like that's a, a, a message here. And I do feel like it's going to be multiple people trying to come in and trying to, for some of you, I feel like they're trying to ruin a relationship. Like for some, for some of you, there's someone that's trying to stick their nose trying to give some unsolicited advice on how your relationship should be. On how your how you should handle your relationship. Um, maybe this is not directed to you, but your partner maybe. But it's like I feel like there's some unsolicited advice coming in. And it's like, don't stress too much, Cancer. You got this, right? You got this. So let's clarify this reading for Cancer, please. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Star, Ace of Swords, and the Emperor. Underlying energy is the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay, Cancer. So, could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius or you could have those in your chart now I do see there being an ending could be with this with an air sign it could be to do with communication kind of like it's more to do with the communication here because it did see that here it's like somebody is trying to butt in but it's not gonna it's not gonna work so don't stress um, if it's already happening just know it's not gonna it's not gonna work out it's not gonna pan out okay you do have a beautiful new beginning that's coming in you do have a it's like a transformation type of thing going on now you have a yes answer that it's anything that's to anything that's not spoken of um, I do feel like you are going to be starting something new very soon if it's not this week it's gonna be within the next three weeks but you are building upon something bringing in a, an awakening type of energy and it is seeing something or someone for with like in a new light for the first time you do have something big happening and now you could be dealing with a father figure or there is like i, I see more like this is protection around you yeah it's like protection in your relationship because i said i feel like there's someone that's trying to like, someone's trying to um trying to ruin your happiness but don't worry, because it's not going to happen. The communication is going to get cut off. And for some of you Cancers, I feel like this is to do with your person, your partner. Like that person is dealing with the the third party, the, the unsolicited advice. Like I feel like your person is dealing with some unsolicited advice. And like they're going to be like, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with that. Now, if you're not coupled, if you're not in a relationship, this could be a family member that is getting some negative feedback towards you. But don't worry. Everything is going to work out. You, you have what you need to succeed. Focus on you and focus on what you want to start because you have some new beginnings coming in, Cancer. 
So whatever's ending is meant to end. Don't stress about it, okay? I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Hey, Leo. Message for Leo for the week ahead, please. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Five of Cups. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Underlying Energy, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so we are feeling overwhelmed feeling like it's like oh my god this is so much going on right you have your energy coming in leo with the page of wands the aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign that's young or immature but I also see that this is more of and I, I feel like this is more of the communication about the actions. Like talking about what you're planning to do. Because everything feels great. Everything feels perfect. You've got major abundance coming in. But I, I do feel like it's like, whew. Um, like we got to stop and take a breather here. We've got to, like a, got to slow our roll here, Leo. Now, I do see hopes and wishes coming true. Now, you could be, you could have some regrets about past mistakes as well. So do... It's like, don't leave anything unsaid, okay? Um, and I, I feel like you're going to be moving forward and breaking free from a situation. I do feel like that is to do with this communication about the actions and finding your way through. It's For some of you, finding your way through a dark period I'm getting. So, wow. Let's clarify this reading for Leo, please. Seven of Rods, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Rods, Three of Rods, Ace of Rods. Wow. Underlying Energy, the Page of Rods is coming back out again. So, again, with your energy is coming in strong, Leo. We do have major abundance. It's definitely... Um, Indicated here with the Nine of Pentacles coming in twice. The Page of Rods, Wands coming in twice. So a strong indication that you are on the right path. You do have a new beginning that is coming in. The decisions that have been made. Do not stress over it because it's the right decisions to make whatever they may be. You are building a strong foundation for yourself. And whatever it's like your hopes and wishes and prayers and even some of that you know the past indications here the past regrets know that whatever decisions you have made have been made in that it's like that's what you're meant to be that's what you're meant to be doing type of thing and you are breaking free and having a new beginning coming in strongly here leo so it's like don't don't worry so much don't worry so much there is communications coming in and it's like also just allow time allow time to take um allow things to unfold allow there to be time to heal i don't know who that's for but it's allow time to heal okay and don't make any rush decisions don't make any rush decisions so leo I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Hey Virgo. Message for Virgo for the week ahead please. Three of Swords. The star. King of swords. Eight of wands. Page of pentacles. 
underlying energy is the Knight of Swords. Things happening very quickly for you, right? Now you do have heavy air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy Aquarius. Communications, three days, three weeks, three months. Very strong indication here that there is a timing that this communication is going to come through or the next three months are going to come by really quickly. There could be just a lot of chaos in the next three months. I feel like it's more of the three weeks. But for some of you, three months is the timing. There is also Earth energy here, your energy, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, young or immature. But I do feel like this is more of, you know, communication about money coming through. Now, some of you, you could have been dealing with a heartache, a heartbreak, some type of loss or sadness. Just know that it is a blessing coming in for you. It's a blessing in disguise. You have to learn from this life experience. Um, there's also a yes answer here for anything that's not spoken of. But I do also feel like this yes answer is something to do with the communication about money. So, let's clarify this reading for Virgo, please. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Sun, Ace of Cups, and the Five of Rods. Underlying energy is the Queen of Rods. So we have Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy Leo energy, and your energy is coming up strong with the Queen of Pentacles. Also could be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. Now, as you see that for you yourself could be dealing with some heartache. But as I said, I do feel strongly that this is about communication being in the next three weeks. There's going to be a little bit of, um, it's like, I feel like the chaos is more of kind of weaning itself out for you. I think it's weaning itself out. Now, do you see a new beginning in a relationship? If you were single and looking for that person or you are like man should i should i contact them should i say how i feel yes say how you feel you only live once right or at least we we have this lifetime and you don't want to have any regrets i, I feel like there that's a message for someone out there because i do feel like there is a strong new beginning coming in in love for some of you virgos and this could be a, it's like a friend moving into more of a lover. Um, but I do feel like there is that transformation type of thing. And it's like, just know Virgo that this, this relationship, I feel like it's going to be one of those lasting relationships. So if it's not romantic, it's like meeting a new friend and having that very strong bond with this person. It's it's really, really connected. Okay. I do feel like it's going to be kind of a, a heated situation. It's going to be a heated moment. It's a like very passionate situation here for you. But very nice, very pleasant as well. Communicating with others about money is important as well. And I feel like it's more of like you need to keep your person in the loop. You need to have open communication about that going on. So. Virgo, I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense for you. Make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus as well. And thank you for watching. Libra. Thingy didn't want to go on there. Message for Libra for the week ahead, please. Five of Wands. The Hermit. Ten of Pentacles. The Devil. And Death. Underlying energy, the Ten of Swords. Oh, Libra. Okay. So, and a major ending coming in. A major ending. We have Scorpio, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. You could have those in your chart or dealing with someone with those energies in theirs. Though, 
Honestly, uh, I'm feeling here, Libra, you have a major ending happening, a major change, a major transformation. There is major abundance coming in, but um, a major change is happening for you. Now, some of you could be hearing about a death. There could be an actual death that you hear about. I, I don't want to get anyone scared, but it's like I, I, I say what I see and I feel here. Do you trust your intuition, trust your gut, trust that the universe is leading you in the right direction. And it's like for some of you, you're needing to cut something out. There could be a nasty habit, a nasty affliction, a next nasty addiction. I, I do see there could be an addiction that is being ended. Um, just, you know, cutting it out, having a, a clear start, a fresh start. But there is something ending though. Let's clarify this reading for Libra, please. Six of Swords. All Believers. Knight of Rods. Knight of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. Underlying energy is strength. Now, we have Leo energy here. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Also, just know you have the strength to get through this ending, whatever it is. It's like, oof, it is gonna be it's gonna be a doozy. But you will be okay. You are moving forward. You're moving in the right direction. Do not stress about this. Do not worry that you made the wrong decision. Like I feel like it's like just know that you've made the right decision. It's gonna be tough but you got this everything will be revealed to you in the in in the right timing trust the universe has the plan trust the universe is going to show you or you know and i say universe but it's like whatever entity and whatever you know your spirit guides or your guardians or whatever it is you look to god even just know that you are being guided you you will be guided you are being protected okay now do you see there could be something rushing in to do with money there could be some chaos to do with money and it's, it's going to be an emotional type of uh, situation it's going to be a bumpy it's going to be intense it's going to be heated now there could be an ending to do with money here an ending to do with a job Maybe you're working so much and you're like, okay, we got it. We got to, we got to slow it down. We got to cut it back some like, and this doesn't have to be actual um, work as an employment, but doing work around your home or doing some type of new activity. And you're having to, you're having to slow it down, cut it back some. Um, it's just, I feel like there's going to be something intense happening, something big. This is not going to be a let's take it lying down kind of matter here. It's what I'm feeling. So Libra, take it day by day and don't stress about the ending. Okay. I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Hey, Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, Queen of Cups, for the week ahead, please. The Lovers, the Moon, the Empress, and the Four of Cups. Underlying energy is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have Earth energy here towards Virgo Capricorn. You could have Earth in your chart. Or dealing with the earth energy. We also have your energy coming in. The queen of cups. Cancer Pisces. And Gemini energy. Could have those in your chart. Or dealing with someone within, with those in their chart. You have something big happening Scorpio. Um, And I do feel like. For some of you. It's like. being Having an offer of love. Uh, like somebody saying. Hey you know what. I'm really into you. Will you go out with me? Asking you out. That type of thing, Scorpio. So if you're single, you could be meeting someone. But I'm feeling like this is going to be one of those situations where you're like, 
uh, I don't know. I just I'm not feeling sociable. I just I wanna I wanna stay home. I don't wanna do anything. And I I feel like it's this could be it could be something new coming in that you're meant to try out. You're meant to check this out. So it's like don't avoid something that you just because you're feeling like you it's like don't trust so much of your gut this week because like I'm feeling here Scorpio um because I feel like it's not everything is going to be as it seems so it's like don't judge a book by its cover kind of thing okay so let's clarify this reading for Scorpio please you do have something really like intense major coming in this week Scorpio could be dealing with a mother figure as well we have three of rods seven of rods Wheel of Fortune, Four of Rods, and Queen of Swords. Underlying Energy, the Eight of Cups. Okay, so we have now Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So heavy Gemini energy here. Eight of Cups, turning your back on something here, Scorpio. Now it could be to do with an Earth sign. It could be to do with money or your daily routines. It could be with a mother figure as well. Like there could be a, a mother figure in your life that's kind of like, um, you know, I just, I need to do things my way right now. It's like, I feel like that type of thing here going on for you. Because I do see you having to make some type of really intense decision or you've made some type of decision here, Scorpio, that's been, it's just like very emotional, okay? Um, some type of major change is happening and it's happening in your relationships in your family so maybe this is a a female that was like a mother to you and you're having to say hey you know what i appreciate your help i appreciate your guidance but i need you to back off a bit okay because i do see communication being a a strong key factor here for you Scorpio this week and it's all about the relationship now there could be a new relationship coming in for you and it's like for some of you Scorpios I feel like there is a female presence that is trying to um it's like giving you some unsolicited advice and you're like eh, no you know what I don't I'm I'm not going with wait I'm not going with your advice thank you but no thank you it's what I feel like you're saying here so relationship being revealed and there is a sense of a there is just you're getting you're re, you're hitting you're hitting resistance there's someone being resistant towards this so are you being resistant mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know so Scorpio are you the mother figure or are you the one that's being resistant to a new relationship coming in like, I feel like it's that type of thing going on. It's like it's just somebody's being resistant to a new relationship coming in. It's a major change that's not being completely seen. Like, I feel like it's going to be revealed, but not happening now. So it's like there's something hidden and you have to break away. You have to chip away at the um, at the layers here. Okay. You have to be open to the communication as well. Scorpio, I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Hey Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius for the week ahead, please. Ace of Pentacles. Oof. King of Swords, the Fool, Eight of Cups, and Justice. Underlying Energy, Death. Don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like this is going to be a good thing for you. I feel like it's a major change that's coming in for you. Now, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. We also have air energy. Libra is strong. Aquarius and Gemini as well. 
there is a new beginning that's coming in strong here for you, Sagittarius. You're having, like, for some of you, you are turning your back on something or someone and becoming more focused on yourself. It's ending with a new beginning, and it's all about the communication. It could be a new job or new money coming in. It's a new beginning for you. Um, possibly, I mean, the pinnacles is the, the physical. It's the routines. It's the daily things. It's the money. But for some of you, I just I feel like this is more about just that new beginning. It's all about that new beginning. Having some type of communication coming in about it. It's a major change. So let's clarify this reading for Sagittarius, please. We have the Knight of Cups flipped out. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this is going to be an, uh, it's going to be a, a bit of a rough situation here. Seven of Pentacles. The Magician. Ten of Swords. Oof. Ace of Swords with the underlying energy, though. Okay? So, I, as I, I felt here, that this Death card, this is about the transformation. It's about the change. It's about the change. We have the Ten of Swords, the ending, really focusing, changing your focus, changing your direction for something. The new beginning, it's going to be bumpy, you know, but hey, what what new things come with ease is what I feel. It's like everything, everything happens for a reason and just know that what, if it's like, you know, I almost feel like whatever comes comfortable and easy, it's like we question it too much. So it's like, just know that it, it's, it's going to be okay. <clears throat> now I do see that I, I feel like this is something you've been waiting for. You're maybe it could, could be getting a little bit impatient and you or you or making the changes that need to be made so that you can be over whatever it is. It's like, I feel like there's like a sense of needing to be over it. I'm like, I'm over it. It's a major, a major cycle change. Could be a karmic type of energy. Do pay attention to the details. Do pay attention to the words that are being said between you and another person. Um, I almost get the sense of read between the lines. Like there could be a hidden message trying to come in. But the, the change is there. The change is there. And it's all about what you do next. How are you going to handle it? How are you going to make a difference in your life? Because the the ending and the new beginning, it's it's all wrapping up. And it's like you just have to be a little bit patient and have your focus. Put the focus where it needs to be at. The new beginning is here, but the ending is here as well. Okay? So the major, a major, major change for you here, Sagittarius. I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense for you. Make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Capricorn. <clears throat> Message for Capricorn for the week ahead, please. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Two of Swords. Ah. Okay, we have the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. Underlying energy, the wheel of fortune. Okay, so times are changing for you, right? Oh, new beginnings strongly indicated here. Um, for some of you Capricorns, you kind of stuck, not really knowing how to cope. It's like new love, new money, new beginning, and you're like froze. It's like the whole. You know the expression of you're like a deer caught in headlights kind of thing. <clears throat> I 
I do see there being a major change in your home, in your family, in your foundation, and with those around you. Like, I feel like that's what this is about. It's like, you have this new beginning happening, and then you're like, okay, you, you got it, but what do you do next? It's like, you don't know what to do next. There could be a blocking communication as well. Uh, I just feel like there is going to be a major change needed within the family, the relationship, in order to move forward, whatever this is about. But it, it's all about the new beginning. What are you doing with the new beginning here, Capricorn? Let's clarify this reading for Capricorn, please. King of Pentacles. Four of Rods. King of Cups, the Moon, and the Magician. Underlying energy is the Three of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> so Capricorn, um, for some of you, it's like you were celebrating prematurely. And then you're like, uh, what do I do now? It's like you made this major change, you made this this new big this new step, this first step in a new direction, and now you're kind of getting cold feet. Like, just I just feel like there's a need for better communication. Okay, we have your energy coming in with the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups for water energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio heavy, Cancer Pisces, and of course you have Taurus and um, Virgo as well. Hmm. Okay, so a new beginning in a relationship, in a family dynamic, in, in your home, in your relationships. And for, for some of you, it's like the, this communication, it's like just, just not going anywhere. Um, but I do feel like there is going to be a major shift happening. There's things that are going to be revealed and you will manifest what you need to. You have what you need to succeed. You have support around you. So just open up. Talk. 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 Capricorn, be as verbal as you can. And if you can't speak it, write it out. And... It's just you, you need to open up the line of communication because you, you've got this beautiful new beginning happening for you. But it's like you don't know how to move forward. You don't know how to build upon this. It's like I feel like there is just a need for better communication so that things can flow easier because you can do it. You think you can succeed, but you need to about to be a little bit more communicative about it, okay? I, I hope that makes sense for you. I hope that message helps you here, Capricorn. And make sure you watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Aquarius. Message for Aquarius for the week ahead, please. Four of Wands. The Fool. Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles. And the Devil. Underlying energy is the tower. Okay, so there's something really affecting your home and family this week. New beginning comes with an ending. There is decisions that are being made. And so I feel like there's some major change coming in, a major shift. Um, not going to be easy. It's not going to be pleasant. But you will make it through. Now, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you could have Capricorn in your chart. 
there's also just a sense of just very intense energy. Like I feel like this is more about that intensity that's coming along with the changes. And it's the changes in the family. It's the changes in a relationship for some of you. Um, it's like, what do we do next? It's like someone wanting more. Like I feel like that's a, a situation. It's like you have to decide of, I feel like this decision is about a relationship. Friends or romantic, I don't know, it could be either or. But for some of you, I do feel like this is a romantic relationship that is coming into question and like someone's wanting more. Who's wanting more? Are you wanting more or is the per your person wanting more? Let's clarify this reading for Aquarius, please. King of Pentacles. Three of Cups. The Chariot, Six of Rods, oh, and we have Three of Pentacles and the Devil coming out again. Underlying energy is the Fool. So the Fool is twice here as well. We have that strong indication of the new beginnings and the endings. It's also childlike energy. It's like somebody's being immature. I feel that is a strong message here. Like somebody's being very immature about a situation. Now you do have something big happening. Something major is happening. Um, could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Virgo. I mean, heavy Capricorn energy, sorry. Now it could be a Virgo because I did say Virgo. We also have cancer energy. Could have any of those in your chart. Or you could be dealing with others with that energy. Now I do see victory coming in for you. And you are moving in the right direction. But it's all about what you want. How are you going to handle the situation, Aquarius? How are you going to make the changes? How are you going to handle this intense situation? How are you going to handle this? For some of you, it's manipulation. Um, some of you, it's dealing with this, the money, the home, the family. And there, I do see there being some celebrations coming in. New beginnings, celebrating that victory type of energy. Whatever the decision is, know that you're moving in the right direction. And it's like, I feel like this this um, toxic situation, though, it's, it's very intense. And uh, as I said at the beginning, I feel like there's somebody's wanting more. Who's wanting more? Are you wanting more? Or is your person wanting more? It's like a relationship not being satisfied anymore. A new beginning that's really affecting the, the home, your foundation. It's really shaking things up, making things change. And it's all about where you want to go at with this Aquarius. So victory is yours if you decide to do it. If you decide to move forward, if you decide to take the leap of faith. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. Pisces. Message for Pisces for the week ahead, please. Judgment. Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords. Underlying energy is the Hermit. So we have Virgo energy, Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have any of those in your chart or dealing with someone with those energies in theirs. Trust your intuition, trust the universe is, is guiding you in the right direction. There is a major shift coming in for you. Now for some of you, you could be reconnecting with someone from your past. It could be a relationship trying to come back in from the past. Now what do you see there is like, that was a, um, a bridge that you thought you burned. Like you thought you destroyed that connection. Well, mm -mm, no, Pisces, you didn't. Like I feel like that's, there was still like a, a thread of hope 
a shred of hope and there is communication coming in. Now, this could be just a, a friendship. It could be a romantic relationship. This can go either way. But I feel like there's going to be communication. It's like opening the lines of communication again with this person. So let's clarify this reading for Pisces, please. Three of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. The Moon. Two of Rods. And the Devil. Underlying Energy. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So we have Capricorn Energy. Your Energy. And also Cancer Energy. Because Cancer is ruled by the Moon. Now as you see there is a strong emphasis. Strong indication. Like strong focus on relationships. But also a strong strong um, focus on decisions. Decisions being made. Having balance as well. There's abundance around you. Just know that it's like I, I feel the energy of that magician of know that you have what you need to succeed. Don't don't go looking for trouble. I'm getting um, don't go looking for, like, there could be a very intense conversation that's going to happen for you, intense communication, and just be, it's like, just lay low. I was like, there's need to lay low, okay? There's going to be a revelation about a about a relationship coming in. And I, I feel like for some of you, it's like you're building upon something from the past. And I said, I felt like there's somebody from your past that's trying to come back in and trying to, it's like, try, somebody's trying to weasel their way back in kind of thing, okay? Um, but I do feel like there is a, a need to regain your balance of sort here. Like, something from the past is trying to, it's like karmic energy trying to, we, we gotta, we gotta settle the karmic debt kind of thing. Yeah, um, whatever decision is really affecting the home and family. So be sure to communicate very clearly because I feel like it's going to be very complicated. I feel like it's going to be very um, muggy. Like there's no clear communication there. So it's like you're needing to clarify. You're needing to clear the air. You're needing to reveal things. For some of you, it's about a revelation. Oh, this of you, you're just really needing to keep something hidden as well. But it's all about what, how do you, how are you going to decide to move forward? How are you going to handle this, this old flame coming back or this old friends coming back? How are you going to handle it, Pisces? I mean, nobody can tell you how to do it, right? So I hope that makes sense for you, Pisces. I hope that message helps you. Don't forget to watch your moon rising and Venus. And thank you for watching. And those of you that do stick around to the end of the video, guys, y'all know I love y'all and I thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great week ahead. Till next time, I'm out for now.